Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. And in this video, let's keep you checking along. So we're here, we're gonna adopt them today. And I did kind of figure out from the last video about what I need to, with the throttle body and stuff. But I'll be going through that, you know, once we actually get to doing things or as we start doing things. It's pretty windy today, so I do apologize for all the wind noise that's gonna happen during this video. But today to start off, we're gonna go ahead and it turns out that we do need to run this steam line somewhere, either to the water pump or eventually to the part of the upper radiator, either the radiator hose or the radiator itself. So I decided, even though I didn't really want to, but I guess it's no other choice. And I found it just easier to go ahead and just tap the water pump from here and just run a line either from the bottom or the top and just connect it through here. That way, I don't wanna make it complicated than it should be. So that means that most likely we're gonna to have to take off the water pump because I don't want any shrapnel going into the engine or anywhere else. So yeah, that's what we're gonna do. And so now we have no water pump there, which the water pump is over here. Now I'm gonna figure out what drill bit to use here. All right, so in order to do this, I have like a little spring loaded punch here. I'm gonna eyeball it right here. As you can see, they mark they're pretty damn good right here. This little punch hole right here, which will allow us for the or the drill bit not to wander off anywhere else. It's gonna go straight there. Punch it one more time for good measure. And we're ready to roll. There's a quarter inch barb fitting here. And I actually found this in Harbor Freight with this little kit right here. So step two here, I made a little pilot hole with a small little drill bit, doesn't really matter, it's just something to guide. So now that this hole is done, it's time to make it bigger. So that's our last hole and I used the half inch drill bit for this. Now it, it's ready to tap it so you can stay there. I did find the proper tap, I guess for the thing, and it's 18. Uh, I'm not sure you can see the number. It's 18. But fortunately, this kit didn't come with the proper die. And if it doesn't come with the die, it doesn't come with the tap. So we kind of shed out of luck there. So that means I am basically, since this is aluminum, uh, I'm going to go ahead and just tap it with the adapter itself. So, uh, so I'm really just going to like force it in there, which will make, I mean, risking it for the biscuit here, but uh, I don't really have any other option right now. So this is the best I can come up with. I don't really recommend this because you do run the risk of actually messing up the water pump here with trying to make the thread but you know i'm gonna go for it for the sake of content <laughs> so this is the finished product right here that white stuff is that thread sealer here just turns out to be liquid so this definitely ain't going over i thread it pretty nicely actually i mean as long as it's pretty nice and tight there is not it's, it's, it's definitely not going anywhere and that's pretty much it for the water pump as far as the water pump goes so it's time to put this water pump back on that engine over here. Before we do put it back on, make sure to blow out the holes just because there is there is a lot of shrapnel well, from the drilling, of course. So you don't want any of that inside your coolant passengers at all. That's kind of funny. I didn't realize that. So there's a water pump um, gasket there stuck. But there's also one here that goes to that side. So either overlooked and doubled up in the gaskets for whatever reason or a king double we got an extra one oh that's pretty funny so i need to take one of these off obviously and put it back in so there it is in all its glory i did notice that it's, it is pretty close to the throttle here oh man that's pretty close so i'm definitely gonna have to throw from under here or just do something because if push comes to shove i might need to replace this with the 90 degree one and i don't want to mess with that anymore so here's open all right guys so i kind of ran out of time and i know these are starting to be a little shorter videos than usual but i feel that these smaller videos are also helpful because even though they're like small things but those small things are usually what other videos don't show how to do so i really want to show each and every step possible or as much as i can at least so with that being said thank you for watching like comment and subscribe follow us on instagram and well see you guys next time peace